What's your name? Nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Yeah, you okay, can you let go of my hand? Because <laughs> sometimes I can't hear. I have to pull you in. Yeah. And I Guys, this video was a doozy and it was really disconcerting. At first, I didn't even realize what was happening. The Northridge Town Hall manager comes out and shakes my hand quite normally. And then he shakes Banana's hand. But he squeezes her so tight that you can see his knuckles turning white and his hands turning red. When she doesn't give her name, he pulls her in closer. At first, I didn't even realize that this had hurt her. I was joking around. Moments later, I could see that this really affected her and put her in pain. So at that moment, I lost it. I don't know, maybe this guy thought he was a cop, which is why he was trying to hurt people's wives. I mean, look at the tightness of this grip. Look at his hand crushing hers. Her hand pale white from lack of circulation. His cherry red from how hard he's squeezing. Guys, I was so mad after I found out that she wasn't playing, this really hurt her, that I couldn't even finish the audit. I had to leave. I was not giving them any more footage, any more press. At that moment, I started calling Selectman. He did apologize in the video, but he's going to be apologizing publicly. Watch out, folks. The update on this video is going to be insane. And I'm not sure if he knows it until he's watching this video right now. But Mr. Town Manager, I think you're about to find out that you're out of a job. Subscribe to Accountability Amplified, watch the whole video, and enjoy. What's going on, guys? We're at the Northbridge Memorial Town Hall in Northbridge, Massachusetts. I'm with Accountability Amplified. Go subscribe to her and send her all the monies. On the ground floor. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Hi, Betty Jean. Hi. Betty Jean, you're famous. I am. She's famous. That's true. Can I help you guys? We just came to uh, take a look around. Oh, and take... you need any help, let me know. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's your name? Patty. Patty and Betty Jean. You guys are the best. That's a cute gnome. Thank you. We got him a couple of years ago, and he just became a favorite of everybody, so it's we cute. left him out. We all year him, round. We leave him up all year. Yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah, you, you can just dress him up in different, like, you know, when it's. St. Patrick's Day. Wait, if we little... find things, we do put them. Yeah, that's cute. The kids like them too. Thank, Thank you yeah. very like much. Said, if you need any help, let me know. Okay? Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Have, have a have great a day. day. You too. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Hi. Right. I'm just taking a look around. You can just keep doing your thing. You were here last time. Uh, last year. I was? Yeah. Did I meet so. Did I meet you? You did, and you're late. You were supposed to be here. Wait, didn't you have a birthday or something? Yeah, you were, That's... Supposed, to, you were uh... supposed to come on the birthday. <sighs> we were busy getting married. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. So you did say something about a girlfriend that broke your heart? What? No, this one. You did say it. Oh, you do have it on camera, too. She broke my heart? Yeah, you, you were not happy about a woman. No, that was no name. That was no name. That was the guy with the beard I was with. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay. I thought you were the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was his name. No name. Yeah, we call him no name. No name, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, he was, yeah, he was, you know, he was really upset because. Yeah, he was, he was somebody... unloading his girl problems on her. Yeah, he was. <laughs> He was saying that. And you had to listen to it. Well, he didn't go in depth, but. No, he did. I kind of, I kind of. He stoked the fire. Or you creeped away. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I creeped away. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, 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 um, 
He volunteered out the information all on his own. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have yeah. to like drag it out of him or anything. He oh. just he was willing to talk about it. Yep, that's so funny. No, because like what four years now? Like you wouldn't have been mending a broken heart last year. We've been together. for Yeah. Years, right? Okay, so then it was the other. I know. I, I I remember him. <laughs> uh, like, I, the, complaining. But yeah, yeah, he was supposed to come here last year on the twenty fifth because me and my other coworker. We had our birth. We just found right. out our birthdays were on the same day, which we didn't know. That's fine. And we were excited about it. We expected you guys to come in with balloons. Now you're gonna make it up to Well, it. I'm here now. You're a little late with no balloons. With yeah, no balloons. But I'm <laughs> but I'm here with a bubbly smile and a new camera. Oh wow! Well, Look, it does this. Well, that's not a new camera. That's a new new selfie. No, stick. he does have a new camera too. Oh, okay. But no, <laughs> mine does the same. It's kind of like balloons. We, 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 you can walk down the hall like this. Oh, I'm carrying my balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Not the same effect, though. No, it doesn't give that happiness with the, you know, the, the free-floating thing around. Yeah. So you missed your birthday last year and this year is what she said? I'm, I'm, I'm here now. Well, let's see. I think, no. You were just, I think, either a little... You were just... Er, I was early. I was like a week early. early. And we expected you guys. You said you were going to come next year with balloons. So, in. so I, I did expect to go back because we were supposed to go to Grafton. That was the first time I went to Grafton, and then you know it's him. He's undependable, unreliable. He's like Mr. Cellophane. He really is. Like right now, he's nowhere yeah. to be found. <laughs> is that Mr. No Name again? Yeah, little mysterious yeah. Mr. No Name yeah. there. Um, yeah. We're just going to have to make it up to her next year. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it. We'll make it up to. I'll put it in my calendar. You know, I'll what? put it in my calendar. You know how they have on birthdays like. Maybe mid mid in the middle of the year, rather than on her birthday, you celebrate her birthday not on her birthday, and then she gets her birthday twice. Yeah, I can do that. I, I'm like well, all knowing, all powerful. I okay, can do whatever so I we're, want. Where where <laughs> are between the so the 25th and we are just before like five days before Halloween, right? Because Halloween's on the 30th. Yeah. Yeah. So we're five days before Halloween. So. You could come like in between that time frame, so that way you could do some Halloween. What do you, Halloween well, the more important the, the more important question is. Uh, do you celebrate Christmas? Yeah. Okay, I get less stuff then. Because if you celebrate Hanukkah, I could get seven gifts. What most important question, <laughs> what are you going to get me for Christmas? Am I going to get you for Christmas? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, the more important question is, what are you going to get me? Right. <laughs> See, we're making this very one-sided right now. I, and I don't and, like And I am, yeah. I think. <laughs> See, I'm gonna I'm thing. gonna hang out with Betty Jean because she's nicer. <laughs> she's she will give me the Christmas presents, she, won't you, Betty? Sure, no problem. But that she, see, that's I my kind of lady. You no, know, I want this about me. But You're she, gonna come. See, we're very we're very similar. She, she won't give up the gnome though. She's no. not gonna give up the gnome. No, no, that gnome. You know what they say, Betty Jean? Gnome is where the heart is. <laughs> what? Gnome that? home is where the heart is. But I said, is it? It's, all right. I mean, he's making a pun on that. Uh, yeah, it was funny. It was dad funny. Dad it was not a dad joke. It's like a dad joke, right? Like, dad jokes are like the not as funny jokes compared to the mom jokes. Yeah. See, what I, the problem was that day is um, I didn't have my my first string with me. Uh-huh. And, so I, and the second string was actually unavailable. So we had to throw third string in for a game. And, uh-huh. uh, and when we threw third string in, he just talked about his woes. Well, that's what you get for getting the third string. Sometimes you gotta throw them in the game, Coach. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? I guess so. Fourth quarter, minute left on the clock, <laughs> three points. We need so it. So you're saying I'm the first string? You're, yeah, you're the first string. Oh, That's a good, okay. good answer. Yeah. First, uh, gold it, ring, first be. string. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? It better be the right. That's the right answer. <laughs> That's right. I love her. You gotta love her. Well, you, you don't love enough, her enough to celebrate her birthday. And I said, I know. Yeah, okay. I said it anymore. I celebrated her birthday. I celebrated it internally in my heart. You forgot about it when she mentioned it. I celebrated you. it internally. Well, she that could have been you. Oh, No, she didn't. Okay, I know what you're up to right now. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? That's the ground floor, right? We're on the ground floor. Yeah, it says ground floor. Yeah, ground floor. Then where's all the other offices? Uh, Assessors. Town manager, where's that? The first floor. That's no, that there. says. Oh, okay. Oh my god. That was so funny. No name went in there, and he was talking about that chick that he'd been <laughs> getting blown off by. Not what you guys are thinking. Uh, and he was like, "I gotta tell you something. I got a question I want to ask you." It was very funny. Hello. Howdy. Thank you.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did that all day. He was just asking random people. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, what do you got? What do you got, man? What's up, George? Oh, what's up, Abraham? How are we doing? I have a new little pet. Oh, yeah. Hey, Abraham. Um, so did you just get this dog? Yeah, about six weeks ago. Okay. So can we start like January 1st? Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. What are you doing? I didn't meet you last time. Wanted to come say hi. Hey, how are you? Too bad. Josh, nice to hey, meet you. Josh, man. nice to meet you. How are you? Hello. Hey, what's nice your name? Nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Yeah, okay, can you let go of my hand? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Strong dude, you broke <laughs> the hand, man. <laughs> He's holding my hand like really tightly. Okay, so now oh, we know. Okay. And in that moment right there, I didn't even realize what was going on. A lot of people deal with pain, uncomfortability, and awkwardness in different ways, especially when they're having anxiety in a situation that they're not usually involved in. Sometimes people cry, sometimes people laugh, and that's exactly what Banana did. She was immediately hurt by the handshake and so off-put she didn't know what to do, so she just kind of uncomfortably laughed at the situation. Her laugh was uncomfortable. His was complete and total joy. Because this guy's a punk coward. When he came up to me, he gave me the lightest, frailest handshake ever imaginable. That's why I thought he had done the same thing to her. Until after she told me, we went back and gave him a piece of our mind, and then I actually watched the video footage. This guy's a real piece of I was waiting for you to answer. Yeah. I was like, what is it? Because sometimes I can't hear it. I have to pull you in. Yeah. You're not, not going to let you go. Let's try that. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so you're cooking tonight. Yeah. No. No? Is that, am I doing it right? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just still asked for the like, Pats, huh? After this year, huh? Listen, it's not the Pats. It's Mac Jones. He's a bum. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Hey, it's, right. it's, hey. it's not on the Pats. The Pats were cursed with the Babe Ruth curse yep. but for football, but double reverse, twice removed. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for them to lose so we can get a high draft pick at this point. And you have to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're, I don't think they'll do that anyway because those guys are fighting for their jobs now. Well, they are, but I'm fighting for the, for the high draft pick. <laughs> if you well, what they did with, Mac Jones. Look what they did with the last high draft pick. No. I think that they, because Bailey, Bailey Zappi is going to want to get out of there because yeah. he's not been treated very well. I say they keep Zappi, keep him going, maybe get like a veteran quarterback in there, like a Kirk yep. Cousins or something to yep. kind of, you know. Look at Joe Flacco. There you go. Right? Hey, he ain't a bad <laughs> bridge know, mentor, you know. Him, but anyway, but. You can still quarterback yeah. at 45. Yeah, yeah. So, all well. It is. Yeah. It is. I think her hand's broken. Yeah, it, oh, it doesn't no. feel good. I don't know why you clasped it that tightly. I'm not, I'm not even making a joke. That's just did he really hurt you? Yeah, well, I didn't even I hurt you. I can still feel you gripping my hand. That's maybe it was in the second oh, comment. Oh. Was. was it me? I didn't give my name. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> so are you also a police officer? I am not. So oh, okay. the guys do a um, golf tournament every year. And then they just... They, uh, Sure. I was gonna say because if you were a cop, that would have made sense why you grabbed a woman so hard. <laughs> that's a good it was not a man woman thing. It's, it's just a good one. I, shake my, my, uh, I guess it's one of those where your parents teach you to look someone in the eye and shake their hand firmly, right? Oh, so you couldn't see my eyes, so you shook it even more apart. <laughs> I think I think you hurt her, man. Not cool. Do you really hurt you? He did. I didn't like it. That's why I didn't give like I didn't give him anything. I was like, oh, why I is he you grabbing just... me so tight? I oh, I thought you were just like joking it. around. No. Oh, not good. I wouldn't have joked about that. Okay, so he's a dick. Let's yeah. Go back. Let's go back 100%. and tell him. Let's go back and tell him. I already told him. I'm gonna tell. I, I thought you were joking. No, I was not. Okay. Right. Hey, man. She wasn't joking, man. I, I, she, you really, I, I shook the same as I shook you. Did it hurt you? You didn't even let go of me, man. Well, I'm, I, listen, I'm sorry I hurt you. I was just, uh, I was just see, holding, I, holding your hand because usually like, it's like... Dick move, bro. Dick move. Well, I'm sorry it was on I mean, like, because well, I shook someone's well, hand. No, but when I, when I, when I you shake... You don't shake people's hands like that, man. So I don't know I'm, what I'm, your problem was with especially me. Especially a young lady, first time either. meeting her, just, you know, light little shake. Okay, I mean, next time not cool, though. Next time I'll do a fist pump. 
Yeah, I don't know. You might don't, punch yeah, don't, don't knock her out, though. Don't give her a black eye. That's why I thought he might be a cop. <laughs> Dick. I did not like that. I didn't like that either. I thought you were joking at first. No. What a dick. Hello. Hello. Are you Linda? I'm Linda. Hey Linda, how are you today? Hi, good. How are you guys doing? Good. Her hand kind of hurts. My does. Your hand? Yes. Yeah. What'd you do? I didn't well, do it. It wasn't so much oh. what she did. It was what the town manager did. He saw a handshake as an opportunity to crush her. Oh jeez. Her fingers. Yeah, it was like he was crushing my hand like he was trying to crush my soul. Was your soul crushed? No. <laughs> soul got bitter. Our yeah. town manager? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah. he grabbed more tightly when I wouldn't give my name. Yeah. And I, I think when was, I said, what's your name, that's when he grabbed tighter. I think he was channeling his inner police officer and was like, oh, now's my chance to beat a woman. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have made that up. <laughs> no, he did. He grabbed on tight. I didn't notice shake, it first. I shake people's hands all day long. Like that. Yeah, I didn't like it. I <laughs> love this building. Yeah, it's very yeah, nice. The the LA is beautiful. These um, hinges, this is like my favorite thing. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that is I nice. I saw that. Gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. And then I like your cute fall display here. Yeah, except it's, it's a little dated now. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing. Well, it should be Christmas. Thank you much. Well, I don't know. I'm going to give them any good press now. That's where the turkeys sit now. Yeah. Casimo. After that, I don't want to give him no positive press. How do we? How do we um, complain about that? Do we complain about that? How does that even? I'm not even giving them any more press. I'm out of here. I'm just gonna be a fucking. Did you get the grip on your? No, camera? he didn't. He didn't do it at all to me. Seriously, this town manager's a problem. He's definitely in the wrong line of work. He should absolutely be a cop, because then he can put his hands on women and get away with it. We, the people of the United States of America, don't take kindly to people like this treating their citizens with such disdain and contempt. So now, with all the legal uh, you know, abilities and prowess that I have, my sole goal on planet Earth right now, the only thing I have in mind is making sure that he gets an unemployment check. I'm going to go to every select board meeting, every single town meeting, until people understand how bad this guy is. I'm going to use my First Amendment right to suppress his ability to be a hands-on, female-hating tyrant. And that's the reason I stopped you today.